few days back, my friend Tanya cut her hand and it triggered my mind to make something for hands protection. I'm going to dedicate this project to Dania. You know my friends, in industries usually the hands accidents happen when the hands come in contact with the moving parts, which results in heavy injuries, amputations and deaths. These accidents can be minimized by designing special type of electronic gloves which can turn off the machine when a hand comes in contact with the moving part. In today's episode, you will learn how to make an electronic glove based on the magnetic Hall effect sensor, Arduino and 433 MHz radio frequency modules to protect workers from coming into contact with the moving parts or getting caught in the machinery. For the demonstration purposes, I'm using two indicator lamps. When the workers get too close to the moving part, the machine turns off and an alarm is activated which is represented by the yellow indicator lamp. This is just a prototype model which can be further improved by designing some very small size Hall effect sensors. We can also include some pressure sensors and the device can be made hidden inside the gloves. Using such gloves we can perform ordinary tasks without any problem as these gloves are completely wireless. Without any further delay, Let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. The magnetic Hall effect sensor VCC R 5 volt pin is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. The ground pin is connected with the Arduino's ground while the signal pin of the Hall effect sensor is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A0. 433 MHz radio frequency transmitter module 5 volt pin is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. The ground is connected with the ground while the data pin of the transmitter module is connected with the Arduino's pin number 12. This circuit can be powered up using a 9 volt rechargeable battery. But for the demonstration purposes, I'll be using a 12 volt adapter. Now let's have a look at the receiver circuit diagram. This circuit will be installed on the machine side which needs to be turned off when a hand comes in contact with the moving part. This circuit is powered up using a 12 volt adapter or battery. The 5 volt pin of the 433 MHz radio frequency receiver module is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. The ground is connected with the Arduino's ground while the data pin of the receiver's module is connected with the Arduino's pin number 11. A 2 channel relay module is connected with pin number 9 and pin number 10 of the Arduino. The relays used are of the type SPDT, single pole and double throw. You can purchase a ready-made two-channel relay module or you can make the one by yourself by following these connections. As you can see, one side of the relay coil is connected with the 12 volts while the other side of the relay coil is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor. The emitter is connected with the ground while the base is connected with the Arduino's digital pin through a 10K resistor. This is the magnetic Hall effect sensor. It has three male headers which are clearly labeled as 5 volt, out and ground. This is the sensor which detects the presence of the magnet. As you can see, these are exactly the same magnetic Hall effect sensors. I desoldered the sensor and fixed it on the glove and soldered longer wise and connected the three male headers as per the circuit diagram already explained. Using this blue color variable resistor, the sensitivity of the sensor can be adjusted. This is a 433 MHz RF transmitter. As you can see, the three male headers are clearly labeled. You can also see I have soldered a red wire with the antenna. This is just to increase the range. This is the receiver module. It has a total of four male headers which are clearly labeled. 
the two middle pins or the data pins which are internally connected so you can connect any of these two pins I have a very detailed tutorial on how to use these radio frequency modules you can check link in the description I have also soldered a small wire with the receiver module to slightly increase the range the libraries used in this project can be downloaded from a website the link is given in the description as explained in the circuit diagram the data pin of the transmitter module is connected with pin number 12 of the Arduino the 5 volt pin of the magnetic Hall effect sensor is connected with the Arduino's pin number 7 but you can connect it with Arduino's 5 volt these are the commands which are sent to the receiver circuit then I defined pins for the four magnetic Hall effect sensors but currently I'm using only one sensor connected with the analog pin A0 these are the four variables of the type integer which will be used to store the values coming from the magnetic Hall effect sensors in the white setup function I activated the serial communication for the debugging purposes initialize the IO and ISR set sensors as the input turns on the magnetic Hall effect sensor and finally send the virtual wire setup function at 2000 bits per second in the while loop function we simply read the sensors in my case I'm using only one sensor which is connected with the analog pin A0 store the value and variable S data 1 print the data on the serial monitor to check the effect of the magnet on the Hall effect sensor then using the F conditions the value stored in S data 1 is compared with the predefined value this condition means if the presence of the magnet is detected then send a command H to the receiver this condition means if there is no magnet detected then send a command J to the receiver now let's discuss the receiver side programming the two relays are connected with pin number 9 and pin number 10 of the Arduino as explained in the circuit diagram the receiver module data pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 11 the white setup function almost consists of the same functions which are used in the transmitter programming the relays are set as the output using the pin mode functions in the while loop function these instructions are used to receive the command sent by the transmitter then using the F conditions we check whether the received command is H or J and then accordingly the relays are controlled this is the same program which I used in the tongue controlled wheelchair I will provide a link in the description if in case you want to check out this project I have already uploaded these programs let's watch this project in action support me on patreon for more videos I hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching.